All right, what is going on everyone? Cody here from CNA Gaming, and we're going to be doing some Project Zomboid again. Um, we're gonna, just going to skip past this title screen, and we're going to get back in where we left off before. So, uh, one thing I'd like to address right off the bat is this will be the last episode. I'm going to deal with this keyboard noise. So I'm going to fix that, but I, uh, I thought I'd make one more episode. Uh, so, sorry about that for now. It will be fixed in the future, I promise. I'll also be edit, uh, also be recording this one in 1080p. So um, tell me if it looks any better once I actually get it through YouTube. I think I'm going to upload it in 720, uh, but we'll we'll see. So if I re can remember where we left off, um, we were in this room. We don't want to open the window. Uh, actually, why not? Uh, we'll close that. We want to open the curtains. It is pretty uh, early, 520. Uh, this time so we can eat our chocolate here and just uh, feed us a little bit we should probably put these peas in the fridge but uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about that right now uh, this for now actually looks like a pretty decent safe house um, it's got you know a few doors to block if we need to you know escape it's got two exits it's got a quite a bit of room back here so I think what we're gonna do is clear out some of these zombies back here and we're gonna sort of make this our safe house I didn't even realize it has a workshop all the better all right so he's down and we're gonna see pretty much nothing there so we'll just go and take this one out oh that's not good all right so that could be pretty bad for the likes of us I'm not quite sure why we got so quickly scratched there, but whatever. It's just a scratch. We should be okay. As long as we get a bandage on. So all the hoping we don't turn into a zombie, because that wouldn't be very good. Alright. So not the greatest start to the episode, but uh, we'll get through. I think what happened is my butter knife is... No, nah, it seems to work. Uh, like I said, when before, when these get low on durability, they don't like to work very well. What is this here? Butter knife. I'm not sure. Seems to be okay. So let's open this door. Oh, there's one in there too. Come out here. There we go. I don't think he's dead yet. We should probably get him again. Maybe he is. All right, we should be okay. Let's see what's on these shelves. A golf club. Ooh, that could be good. Let's grab that. That seems like it'd be a pretty good weapon. And we should be pretty much good for everything else here. I don't really like this. I don't think that would work very well. Probably bend. Anyway, so let's equip our crowbar here. And let's just clear the area around the house. So as you can see, I think as of this version, it's actually a baseball bat. So that's not the greatest, um, but I'm sure that will be fixed later. And I'm actually going to see if it has the same specs as the baseball bat, because if it does, that's not the greatest. As you can see, we're also a little over encumbered here. So let's get rid of a few things that we don't quite need. I think we'll read our newspaper here, because I don't think the boredom has any effect right now. So we'll do that, and we're going to go see how effective this new crowbar is. Wow, that's a pretty stupid zombie. Come on. There he goes. So as you can see, a few bugs right now. But they'll get it sorted out eventually. So like I said, um, <laughs> this is what I mean. The butter knife is almost a one hit on uh, most things, and then you get something like a crowbar. And it takes a few hits, uh, but we'll be okay. It's going to be much more durable, so uh, we'll take that for now. I'm not quite sure if there's actual aiming. I would think there would be, but I'm not actual sure at this point. Uh, by that I mean hit zones. All right, so for once the door is actually open for us, let's uh, take a gander at what's in here. Alright, so we got a pillow, completely useless, over there. Ooh, alright, we'll take the 9mm rounds, grab all them, and we'll also take the sheets, 
though we are quite over encumbered now so we'll gonna have to drop some stuff uh, I think for now we can be we can be pretty safe to drop the baseball bat we'll just put that in this container if we ever get trapped in here we can use it but I'm actually gonna return back to our safe house here and uh, maybe I'll take a look through here and grab a drink fill empty mug fill empty mug and we'll have a drink so I'm actually going to take some of this stuff back, uh, organize it in our chest, or not chest, too much Minecraft, but in one of the cupboards, and that should get a little bit of load off this. So I think we'll actually going to do this uh, house as, a, as our safe house, because it looks like it's going to do quite well. So I'm going to just quickly toss this on the end here, anything that's not needed. Uh, right now we do not need the butter knife, so we'll put those in there. Uh, we'll keep the bandages and on the off chance we need them. We'll let you eat our peas here, and we'll put our we'll put our nine sheets in here because we're probably just going to sheet up the windows with them later. All right, sorry about that. So we're also going to put our nine uh, nine millimeter rounds in here um, because we don't have a pistol yet so they're not too useful and also quite heavy so now that all that's done we've uh, got a lot better for the weight situation here and we're gonna go back and see if we can get any more through these houses so this looks like a pretty good area there's usually quite a bit more than this for zombies around here Ooh, nice blood splatter on the ground there that doesn't look like anything too happy happened here oh there we go that's great so we're gonna just grab that uh, we have lots of rounds so I don't want to use this if I don't have to but that is that is really really good to have um, if we ever do need it. Holy, that scared the crap out of me. Where did that come from? Whoa, who fired that? I didn't think NPCs were even in the game yet. Apparently are. Jesus. Alright, so let's get rid of this one. And also that one by the door before it causes any more problems. I wonder who shot that. <laughs> that sounded way too close for... I like so let's just take this guy down and let's pretty much get out of here so yeah like I said I didn't even know that existed in the game yet but apparently or that or it's a sequenced event so I'm not quite sure but it doesn't matter either way quite frightening so let's take these out of here and we'll go take them back to our fridge but other than that this house is pretty much clear and not much more we need in there what I'd like to go check out is this storage garage over here. And we're going to go duck back in the house first. So in this fridge here, uh, we're actually going to throw our newly found perishables, which we do not want to keep in our inventory, and especially the steak. So as long as the power stays on, the fridge should be fine. All right, I'm not quite sure what just happened to our steak. All right, it's still in my inventory. So that should be good. I'm gonna go back and grab a few rounds now, um, considering we do have our pistol, so that's really good to have. Uh, I think we'll just grab half of them for now, because they, they are quite heavy, or maybe even a, a bit less than that. All right, we'll take, uh, we do five? I'm not sure, I just don't wanna carry around too many because they are quite heavy, as I said. All right, we can live with that, actually. It might come in handy if we need it. So let's get over here to this other house and uh, let's see what it holds. I do hear a zombie, I don't like that. I'm not quite sure where it came from, so we'll just ignore that for now. All right, he's uh, probably banging on this door here, so. We better watch out for that. Alright, he is in there somewhere, but I can't see where. So 
let's just hop through this window here. He's right here. All right, come on. Oh, there's a quite a lot, quite a few in here. So we're actually gonna pop the door and get in a little more open space because that's not optimal. All right, we should be able to take these two. I'm not quite sure what their AI is, why they keep jumping over the fence. That doesn't make too much sense to me. All right, one guy down. And this is that a girl? I think we'll get it, that one next. So let's get over here. Let's sometimes take a lot. Ooh, I did not mean to yell. That's one uh, weird little key. Um, <laughs> it's for the NPCs, but it can attract a lot of ooh, a lot of attention, just like that window. So we probably should get a little bit away from here because we've probably attracted quite a bit of attention at this point. But if these uh, would just hurry up and uh, go down already, that would be be nice. All right, this is taking quite a while actually. So I think we're gonna get back here. And I'm almost tempted to try the pistol, but that's probably not a good idea because it will attract everything within miles. That's not good. All right, so I'm not sure why they're not going down at all, but we're gonna try the pistol. Why not? We're probably, we have a pretty good chance of getting uh, infected now, so uh, we might as well uh, go for it if we have it, right? So let's, uh, let's equip this. Could find it, and I want to unequip it. I'm not quite sure how the primary and secondary works. I know I have to be standing still, and then I can equip it primary. All right, so let's give this a shot. Oh, that's weird. Uh, so apparently, it doesn't automatically reload. The more you know. So let's reload this. Come on. Is there not an option to reload? Maybe you gotta go to the pistol. There we go. No, maybe not. We just gotta get away from the zombies first. There we go, reload. Dang it. Alright, so let's uh, get back where there's not too many and let's see if we can get a reload done on this. There we go. Let's take some out. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So probably not the best idea at this point, but uh, considering I feel like we're probably going to get infected, um, we'll take the chance. So now that they're pretty much all attracted over there, let's, uh, let's get away from this zone because there's going to be a lot coming now. And I'm thinking that we'll just hide out, maybe duck through the church. And we'll actually equip our crowbar as our primary because that made a lot of noise. So let's just get back and take this guy out. All right. So like I said, this weapon kind of sucks. I wish I would have kept my butter knife. But uh, we should be able to outrun this one if we just slowly get away. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll duck behind here and hopefully find some other little house to go to. So we're not looking too good on the stats uh, on the stats here. So we're actually going to eat our chips, and hopefully that'll uh, fix things up a little. But there is a lot there. Maybe we'll duck into the forest. So like I said, I'm not quite sure why it wasn't uh, like that was a lot of hits. Um, for uh, that crowbar. You wouldn't think it would take that many uh, compared to like the butter knife. But I guess that's just uh, what you gotta expect from something like an elf game, so I'm fine with that. So hopefully we can duck in one of these houses and maybe have a little lie down because uh, <laughs> this is getting a little long and it's about time for that. And we're not looking too great on the specs here, so let's pry this window open and uh, have a nap. And we'll see if we can climb through there. And we will close this. 
because we don't need any more coming in. If this would close. There we go. Close window. Is this door going to work? Alright, so nothing in here, which kind of sucks. So it seems like this isn't furnace, which is actually, that kind of sucks. That's a little bit of waste of time for me. Uh, I got to go back around to another house. So like I said, I don't think everything's, I don't know if it's meant to be like that or if it's a little buggy right now, but uh, either way, there's nothing in there. So we're just going to climb through here. That looks better. We'll close that window. And maybe we'll have a, a lemon, we'll eat that, and we'll eat the milk too, because we are in uh, quite a bit of problems right now. Yeah, it looks better. So now we're not thirsty anymore, and we'll eat the chips, just because these help you heal quite a bit more. And we'll also take the peanut butter. Let's just eat everything around, hopefully get a little bit more healed. And there's my butter knife. And <laughs> trust the old butter knife. We'll equip that instead. It's so much better right now. Alright. So we'll get in here. We'll have a drink. Which doesn't seem to work right now, which is okay, because we don't need it anyway. But on that note, thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more, leave a like, leave a comment, do whatever you need to, and if you really like it, it'd be awesome if you subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.